Hello from the beanbag and welcome to another episode of Daily Encouragements with Naomi. Nearly forgot what I was called then. Um, <laughs> thanks for joining me. Uh, great to have you here. Uh, today we're going to talk a bit about embracing where you are at right now in your journey with God and life and just what that looks like. I'm going to share a bit about um, just my journey and where I am and um, we yeah, just going to talk about just the encouragement of just embracing that stage where you are right now and letting God do what he needs to do in your life in this moment and in this the stage instead of you know constantly going oh I need to, you know let's get to the next part, stage let's keep going let's keep going yes look into the future but um stopping and pausing in this moment and allowing God to do what he needs to do in your life at this stage so let's go on a wee journey and talk a bit about that let's do this So I think the reason that I was kind of thinking about this um, is that yesterday I just watched a, a video of someone who was talking about um, how their child was a little bit delayed um, in their kind of milestones in life. Their baby um, didn't walk until he was 17 months old and so it was just kind of around getting him the help he needed and... Um, but allowing him to be the best that he can be in that stage and and um, as parents helping him. And he kind of said that, you know, we were so focused on um, getting our baby the help he needed that we kind of missed out on the moment. The moments, you know, because when the little moments fly by so quickly and so you often forget to be present in the moment. And that's what he was saying was that they were so kind of focused on getting him the help that, that he needed that they forgot to maybe be present in those little moments and in those little milestones that their son was actually having. And I, I just really feel that we need to just be present in the moment and be engaged with God and what he's doing in our lives at the moment. I think we often in life um, are really like kind of in a hurry and amped to get to the next um, goal or the next stage or the next um, chapter of our life that we forget to stop and be present in this moment and allowing um, the emotions the um, experiences and sitting with sometimes some uncomfortable things and, and thoughts and feelings and kind of ideas and doctrines that we've adapted or made up made for ourselves, you know, kind of just peeling stuff like that back and looking at it for what it actually is. And I guess the reason also that I'm talking about this is that I kind of find myself in a stage and a season in life where <clears throat> life is very emotional and I cry at all sorts of things, which is a, for me is a good thing because I've spent years and years, most of my adult life and potentially my childhood as well, I don't know, I don't remember, not being able to um, 
when warranted and when needed, have an emotional response to now for a long, long time. And when I say emotional response, for me, I'm talking about being able to cry over something that, you know, I needed to cry over. And because crying is an important emotion because it releases stuff and it often gets rid of stuff. And it is, it is good. It's cathartic for the soul, for the heart, sorry, for the heart. It's good to have a good cry. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. But for me, just I think because of trauma and experiences throughout my life, I, for many, many years, and for most of my adult life, as far as I remember, um, was unable to cry when I needed to cry. And it's only just been recently that I've, walked through some inner healing and have been set free of some stuff that I've been able to cry and have that emotional response when I've absolutely needed to and yes it's kind of flipped to the other side where I kind of cried everything and everything is quite emotional at the moment and um, I'm not sure whether I like it or not but I know it's it's good it's a good response because often you know when there isn't words to express how you feel or anything like that um it is helpful to be able to cry and so um it's meant that kind of this christmas season um has been very emotional for me like any song that i listen to or kind of anything to anyone talking about Christmas or often leads to an emotional response because I think I am so thankful and so amazed that God would send his only son to this earth to be born as a baby to grow up to live as a man to go to the cross and die for my sins that it just that it evokes that emotional response um and, you know, knowing that if I was the only person on this earth, he still would have gone to the cross for me. Um, that's pretty emotional stuff. It's... I am just so incredibly thankful and grateful in this Christmas season as we lead up to Christmas to celebrate the birth of our Saviour that... God did that for us, for all of humanity, to save humanity so that we could have life. And um, so, yeah, this, you know, I guess this is, as I've said before, this is my journey too. So this is just as much an encouragement and a reminder to me as it is to you guys to um, embrace where you are at. Where the good, bad ugly or indifferent however you feel about the the space that you are in right now and where you are at embrace it and let God do what he needs to do in your life in this season and in this time and in this moment um, because if I hadn't allowed God to heal me of some stuff and clean out those rooms in my heart, I don't think that I would be able to emotionally respond to things in my life that I need, you know, that need that response. And I'm incredibly grateful that I can cry now because for years I couldn't. I would cry at silly stuff that didn't actually matter but when I really wanted to cry and really want you know needed to have that emotional release and response I couldn't and so I am super grateful that I embraced the season I'm in and I let God do what only he could do in my life 
um, to be able to connect with him on that level because it it's a deeper level that I connect with God on now um, because I've walked through some more inner healing and um, have been set free from some stuff. So as I get freer in God, I I go deeper with him. So we're, we're operating at a deeper level now. And so I guess different things come into play and different emotions and different responses come in and I am just so thankful and I've said this several times already but just so thankful to God that I was able to embrace this season um, and also knowing that in this season where there is maybe a lot of tears and emotion that it won't last forever because I don't know where it is in the Bible but I do know it says that um, it says something about the joy will come in the morning that you know tears may maybe tears at night but joy will come in the morning sorry probably totally misquoted that um, but there is, I can vaguely remember a verse that says that. So, yeah, so, you know, like, I know that, that God promises that the tears won't last forever. That those, those that sow in tears will reap in joy. So I know that, you know, these tears won't last forever. The season won't last forever. Seasons don't last forever seasons change and we change and our our our, um walk with god changes and our our time um in each place in our walk with god changes so be encouraged that if you are in a hard place right now if you are in a season that you really don't want to be in god doesn't often just pick you up and transport you to another season. We often, we often have to walk through that valley, but knowing that God is with us in that valley and that it won't last forever, that he has got something better than the hard times. And that he is with us. He is walking each step with us. And as I've said before, at times carrying us. Because we can't put one foot in front of the other because it is so hard. So, yeah. Just uh, be encouraged that God is with you in this season that the tears won't last forever, joy is coming, and that the season won't last forever, that he's got more for you, that this is not where your journey ends, God has got more for you. So just remember that today, and remember that we serve a good, good father. And he has good, good things for you as his child. So he's not going to leave you alone and desolate and abandoned. Because he promised that he would never leave you nor forsake you. Remember that. And be encouraged in that. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Love you. Bye.